of the, the castle next to Haunted Hills. We've still not seen that at all. I would like to see that. Uh, I agree, more shockwaves. An interesting difference I see between North America and Europe, a lot more single player high eliminations. Instead of being spread out. Yeah, not not nearly as spread out. And I wonder if that has to do with maybe play styles in general, or if you're more passive, maybe you find yourself in those more difficult one of one situations are getting caught off guard by other explodes or all of a sudden getting partied by two people, right? But some North American plays that we've seen, especially the ones that get high eliminations are playing very aggressive, playing mm -hmm. very forward fronting. They're making sure that they're covering all their grounds. You're not gonna get a third, fourth or fifth party showing up when you just take out everyone in front of you. I mean, you will, there's a, there's a chance, but the, the time where that kind of mid range fighting happens where you're just kind of trying to pepper each other with shots, where all of a sudden anyone in the vicinity is like, I hear that, I'm gonna come join. The quicker you end that, the less opportunity it is for you to get eliminated by things that are out of your control. And maybe that's why, I mean, there's, there's so many reasons. All 100 players play differently. Both regions have their own styles as well, but interesting that we see a lot more single player high elimination games, as well as generally I've seen more, more map control by the end of the match as well. Maybe it's mm -hmm. just more farming. Maybe it's actual resistance to use a lot of mats. Ooh, someone landed in a... Uh, on Loot Lake? No, this. Oh, the corrupted yeah. areas. Yeah, it's corrupted liquid zone. chap. Look at that. And this is the one in Wailing Woods. So not only does he land, he gets to pick up a bunch of the chest here. Then he's got access to the Shadow Stones on top of that. Look at this. So he's going to use this to just start scoping out. Look. Very quickly, we can navigate. And on top of that, he can also start farming the, the trees as he needs to. Uh, this is an, a neat rotation, though, because, like, you get the Shadow Stone and, and you can basically close in on players. If you're, if you assume there's someone close by, which right now there's not, but if there was, you can close the gap with that Shadow Stone, pop out, and then try and engage a player. I like so, it. And you're guaranteed to get some sort of decent weapon out of three chests. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, statistically, I guess you could just real, really uh, draw the short end, but you're That's probably going to get something. That's fair. And now Sofa here is engaging Bunting. Turkey Lips. He got it. He actually got the tag. Oh, he got the wait. body shot. And then what happened? He oh, shockwave oh. grenade. Shockwave, baby. There it is. That's what just, I'm <gasps> he cracks back. Just what the chef asked for. Ooh, man, yeah. if he had landed in another few bursts there. Oh, my gosh. TV Sofa, though, takes down Turkey Lips. Lucky shots has taken down Sancho West. And now we get to see where these, the first safe zone is going to be. So again, it goes all the way high, right? So we, uh, there's a large play space that's like unavailable to players, which I think is pretty cool. But we'll have to see how that like lends itself to other circles going forward. Exotic Chaotic though, engaging. Tfue has landed Pueblo. I feel like at this point we see Tfue land here pretty consistently, right? Over the last few games. Yeah. And uh, again, Tfue, if, if you're just doing it and you haven't been able to watch, dude, Tfue earlier dropped a Royale flush that was seven eliminations and got a big Royale. Oh, look at that. Woo! He knew exactly where that player was. Mike. That first shot essentially won him that trade. At that point, he knew he had the fight. He just had to stand his ground. And he still has a chug jug. So even if things had gone south or he traded a little worse, if you will, he had the chug jug. But Daquan here drops nine eliminations in his last game, and now he's back in Tilted Towers. Uh, a little bit of a different story this time around. Before we signed up, we saw him kind of yeah. you know, pop off, and now he's like held up in a bathroom with no heels. Daquan, and now he's gone. Wow, replays but, took him down. But replays doesn't realize there's a double sitting on the roof of his building. Full health, full shield. Replays has nothing to help himself out right now. Over to retail row, we got Gank Brandon. It looks like we have two additional players Freeze here. Saint Squat. Wait, did Squat? Oh, okay, never mind. The other player is a little farther behind. I was like, wait, did Saint not see that player? It's just that the other person is a little farther away. I'm actually curious to see how Saint wants to approach this. He's got a ton of mats. Wow, 530. We just started the game. You have 531 mats. Oh my. And more loot. The RPG. There you go. Dude. Not a lot of rockets. That's, yeah, it's only three. Not crazy. So this is the uh, phase replays when he took down Daquan. Ooh. Rough spot to be in, man. Big brain pain over at Shifty Shafts. Oh, starting the game with a grenade launcher, you're like, hey, uh, you like those tunnels. Here's a grenade bouncing inside. Good luck. He lost a lot in that trade. He really did. But he does have the medkit. He's That's probably true. okay. Eh. He's but just going to keep height, keep distance away from that player. That player has to get out of the tunnels and also try and find Big Brain and also push him. So he has plenty of time for this medkit. Former has made it out of the tunnels. Ooh. Former also has two medkits. Wait, did he see that bounce right in front of him? Okay, there you go. These bounce. The first bounce was dope. The second bounce, not so great. Not oh. so dope. 
Oh, in against he ground. lands a big hit there. And look, he's got two extra med kits. So he's like, yeah, well, look, we traded. That's cool. Now I'm just going to heal. And guess and who's had a med kits? Uh, well, oh, well, I found some bandages. Babies. All right. It's still only 75 HP. So the other player's going to have a little more of an advantage. But big brain pain. Just needs to, I mean, land his shots. But look, on the minimap, top right, there's another player closing in. Now the question is, did that player hear those shots? Uh, you can kind of see him turning around the hill there. I'm sure, I'm sure he heard the shots. It depends on if he cares to engage. It looks like he wants to see if he can gatekeep at the very least any movement outside of that. Wiz K and Lenane. Lenane Ooh. wants to medkit so bad. Yeah, that was enough to stop him there. Now he's going to try and disengage. Now, I mean, you know, Wiz K has got, he really only has the silence AR and then the shotgun, so he could potentially go like full send. But he's giving Lenane a lot of time. I think Lenane's absolutely going to get this heal off. Yeah, I, I like, I mean, the, the trap placement too. It stopped Wizke. He had to think, well, now I can't push this. I can't hop in this one by one with him. And if I just keep shooting at him, I'm going to waste ammo. He's going to waste mats. I don't know who's going to win this battle. Nick, Nick Merckx. Requiem slaps. him. Wow. He just, he was literally just, you see, he just kept throwing the clingers. He's like, hey. Oh, Wizke lost it. Wow. NV Lenane takes that, and then look, he's got access to the, all that blue pump, and then the silence AR as well, if he so desires. Just shred through. That was actually the perfect angle, too. The roof and the wall. He had to try and figure out which one was going to get taken down first. And Coop Train gets eliminated by Jumpman. Jumpman now has a little bit of time. He's got his mini. He's going to reap in his spoils. Kayun. He's in a little skirmish, if you will. Oh. Almost, how much health do you have, Barton? How much health is that? Is that zero? It you is got two, two. Which is effectively 52. Oh, and he gets chunked by the shield. And now he gets chunked <laughs> by the everything. <laughs> by the everything. Kayun finds that elimination. Now, uh, this is the current standings, right? So Tfue, nine points. Twifo, three. Twifo. Twifo. Twifo at eight. I can't speak to that. I don't know Twifo what it and is. Liquid. I'm trying, man. Liquid Snooze chap. with eight. Chap still at five and Kayun at four points. And now over to Naga Ops. Naga Ops was actually like in fifth place not too long ago. And now representing Dusty Dogs. He's trying to track this player down. Now Storm is going to be here any moment, but it's not. It's only going to take for one. It's not terrible. It also didn't move very far. It, it really didn't. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't matter. That player in there's got almost nothing. Ooh. There it is. Did he see what the loot was? Because there was IFN. definitely a med kit down below. He's pro I, I mean, you don't. If you only got two of your limbs, I'd I, I check the spoils. Of course you will. Oh, man. Nick Merckx right at the top. Three eliminations to start the game. If you're Nick Burks, you're feeling it right now, right? You, you, you've probably taken over Tilted at this point. You've got three eliminations. You've got one point. So if he could just find four more total, that's a lot to ask for. It's very difficult. But if, if he can find just the four, that's three points. And if he can place top five, I mean, that could be a minimum of four points heading his way. We I mean, talked about, especially, you know, he's, uh, I mentioned a little earlier, he's a controller player, one of the best out there. Talking about how his play style is going to differ. You know, his, his building is going to be a little bit less reactionary, but you can't just, like, flick around and possibly fast. And build yourself in one by one. So you're. Oh! Can he get it? He it was so close. Didn't. And it's against phase replays. So Look yeah, at that. He immediately got this. pulls the cleaner out. He's got out. this. Replays has nothing left. He clearly has no more meds. Merckx knows he, all he has to do is just. Just yell, honestly. If you yell loud enough, I think it'll scare him into his. To be eliminated? Yeah, it'll scare him into his elimination. Oh my god! What? Mercs! Replays took it with four health! What happened? That's, that is... That is some clutch, if I've ever seen it. Oh. Nick Mercs dropped in as, a, as like a, a floor showed up and he was half in both. Lost his setting, got sprayed down. Wow. And here I was, talking about he is about to have four your limbs. Oh, wow. I cannot believe it. Replays with four HP. Dude, he turns the whole thing around. How? I died. Wow. Kiwi face, though. He's uh, Ginger Pop is just below him. And I look high distortion coming out of the storm. 
Yeah, look, he's like, I don't really want to fight this. No, definitely. And, and Kiwi face trying to land shots. Eh. Matt count's pretty low, but it's okay. We're just this is pretty much early game right now, right? Oh, ginger pop goes down to Kiwi face, but then immediately Kiwi face was lost in the storm. That's just unclaimed loot now. That's it. Oh, there, wow. it, there it shall sit till the end of time. And now Vivid is over by Lazy Lynx, hugging the very out, outer edges of the map. And now he's actually like really close to the, the circle. The circle is near a Risky Reel. So he's actually about to, you'll start to see it in the, on the mini map in the top right. Aragon is out in the storm right now. Man, yeah, if but Vivid, no one's putting pressure on him. If Vivid, Although he doesn't have anything to move. Vivid's looking. So Viv, I don't think Vivid knows exactly Aragon's there, but he, he's just kind of yeah. constantly jumping, looking to the right, making sure. Running forward, constantly jumping, looking to the right. Just like that. There you go. This is just for information to keep your momentum moving forward. Oh, no. Okay, so this could be good and bad. If, if he's close up to Vi uh, Vivid, so when you use an ATK, it makes a ton of noise. So if yeah. Vivid's paying attention, all he has to do is kind of look in Aragon's direction. And if he just has to put down shots, he's going to take him down. And this is the replay this coming is, off this of the Mercs. It all happened so fast. He ended up like in the middle of the construction of the wall and the pyramid, or the floor of the pyramid. My Man. God. I mean, at that point, he knew he had, I mean, he won that trade a, a billion fold over. So at that point, he could push without even thinking. He didn't even care at that point. But sometimes, sometimes it's just a little bit too much. I just can't believe replay is turning around with four HP. I it, think even replay was like, uh, uh, uh G, G, G question mark. That was, I mean, still replays. Well played there. But that's okay. We got one le game left, right? So Nick Merckx did drop Snoop three eliminations. Look at so. his aggression. He's just pushing right in. He doesn't care. He's what just gonna mow through the wall and mow through the player. Snoot. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh, indeed. High distortion was waiting, but look, Hesse is not that far away. He's in the storm. They're near stacks right now, near the containers. Take the shield, snag the med kit. Look at the dude, he's got, well, look at all the options he's got. Colton using that shockwave grenade to disengage. And now let's see. So the current circle is actually over more toward Willing. It's very at the, at the very edge of the map, right? So a lot of these players are going to have to start rotating in. We see someone all the way on the north side. That's that little yellow diamond, uh, as, some, as well as someone near Risky Reels. We've got players moving in from down below. That north side player is safe. He's like, safe as can that be. That path is all is the way vivid? to the circle. Was that, we saw him running along the tops of Risky Reels before. So now I'm kind of curious, is that just vivid? Has he, has he just been playing safe this entire time? I don't know. No, he's in Risky Reels right now. It's okay. Lenane. Yeah, Vivid's in Risky Reels right Lenane. now, and then, like you're saying, it's Lenane. The only player between Lenane and the circle is Bizzle, and Bizzle's probably going to push into the circle as well. Although Bizzle might see him. He's looking in the direction yeah. of Lenane yeah, right they're, now. They're currently in combat. We'll see how that turns out. In the meanwhile, checking in with Saf. Oh, and a replay with high distortion. Getting the grappler. He hears this. Oh, he's the one that showed up. He heard the battle. Right, he's the one that cleans up. Okay, gotcha. And that was, uh, that was pretty good, man. I, I think he just waited, perfect timing, let them duke it out, and then he just joins in, cleans up that fight. Fortnite Focus fans, want a chance to win 10,000 V-Bucks? All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to Fortnite Focus, like this video, and comment V-Bucks. Good luck to all, and enjoy the rest That's of the it. video. And now over to Sap. I mean, look at all the players right now. Again, Wailing Woods, you don't like to fight here, pretty much because the tree line is hard to build up into. So you have about two grid spaces high, potentially even three, where you're like, once you hit three, you're in the tree. Like, you're in the brush of the tree, and you can't really move. So, we'll have to see how things unfold going forward. But I'm pretty sure people are like, dang. I'd love to see, like, a tree elf. I just want to see someone sit on top of the tree watching. They're all, they're all just like birds on the tree, just waiting. Now, we have seen people in previous games at Wailing Woods endings. They just sit in the treetops, yeah. and they just wait for, like, the perfect angle. I mean, you become, and they pick players off. You become so conditioned, especially towards mid to late game, to understand that players are probably by builds. So, you know, looking at natural cover and stuff. I mean, granted, everyone's still constantly flicking around, panning around, head on a swivel. But when it comes to, like, you're not going to look on top of every tree, especially from underneath them, yeah. you can't, right? So you're not going to really expect to have someone on top of you from a tree. Yeah. Okay, Sid.
One more Elim gets him a point. Look at that. He's even got the three med kits, man. He's ready to go 600 small bullets. Wow. But high distortion here. Looks like two players actually gatekeeping him. I mean, so here's the thing, man. As we get to these into these smaller circles, it gets very difficult to navigate, especially when you're in somewhere like Wailing Woods, right? You, there's a lot you have to kind of face. <gasps> high distortion. Good night. Oh, no. It was right there. It stopped Jeez. moving right there. Oh. He took one step back. He missed the grapple. And he is down. He's got one game left to play there. Oh, it's ending in the forest. In the woods. So let's let's see if we can see who all still alive right now. We got Ghost Bizzle up top on the north lane. Nane did make it out. He was the little yellow diamond. Uh, taking a look at the current scoreboard. We got Naga off. So many players here with a lot of uh, two eliminations. We got looks like five total so a lot of them are very close to meeting that first threshold threshold of three but all the players with three eliminations have been eliminated right so there's it's if these guys could continue to rack up points that's going to be more points for the final scoreboard right especially here in game five i mean I, I feel like if i'm a player i'm just looking to go full send right especially in the last few games now within reason final game then i'll go all out i'm like look i don't want to leave this tournament feeling like I didn't give it my all. Now, right now, game five, I'm probably halfway. Oh, Thweefo, though, takes down Kayun, his own teammate. It happens. It happens. A tear shall be shed, but you must continue into battle. DMO, their other teammate, not that far away. Colton here. And I mean, look, so now they're making their way over the, the maze. We've got a minute before the current circle takes over this area, and then we'll get a new safe zone. And look, Colton's got a shock with grenade. He's got a grappler. 720 small bullets. He's ready to go. He's looking for that close range engage. Still 31 players left alive, Carpet. We've got so much going on. I'm trying to see. So I think Vivid is actually down. We got Face Cloak coming in down south. Goes Sean up on a hill. Lenane, Hamlin's Liquid 72 Hours, Heart, DMO, not Tifu is still alive. Here's Vivid. So Vivid actually rotated all the way around. Wow. How did he get? Oh, he also has a Rift to go. So maybe he actually had an additional one because we saw him up uh, by Risky Reels before. And now down to 30. So Thweefo needs one more elimination. If he gets one more, that puts him at three. That's the one point threshold. And then at five and seven, if you can get those extra eliminations, it just means extra points, man. We've only got two games left to play. Big Brain Pain takes down Mac with a rifle. Over to Bolt Naga Ops. So this is actually, dang. So this is the new space. So in Wailing Woods, there's these super unsuspecting little cabins. And if you go down into the basement, there's actually behind a hidden bookcase, tunnels that lead down into uh, areas i'm not gonna spoil it you go down you got to see there for a little bit go check it out for yourself it's a cool new, new little place below wailing woods but we get the new safe zone players are now trying to scramble over moving to the top right this is a replay coming in from dmo there oh that player takes. that player did not have much wow yeah that player took like one or two shots and That's just it. turned it in <laughs> all right i'll see you in game six yeah we go hang out with the bus driver you think people do that? It's like ready when they're ready for the game. They're just hanging out with the bus driver. That's what I would assume anyway. It's definitely much more wholesome. Yeah. Like, hey, Mr. Buster. Oh, Kaysen. Goodbye, Thuifo is wow. there for the Elim. Thuifo has been a very aggressive player the past few matches. Oh, my. He picks up the one grappler. I don't know if, if it's worth saving the one grappler in this situation. It's tough to tell. T, if you look at you, you're still very much alive. He's got a chug jug, three minis, a ton of bullets, ammo. I mean, mass as well. Taking a little bit of tags up here. At this point, it's just aiming practice for anyone shooting at him. He's only got one Elim. He has played a lot calmer since his big, since his uh, Royal flush. flush. Yep. I feel like now he can kind of take it slow, right? At least it's where he's at positionally. Uh, as, once we get this new circle, he can start to like make decisions and as he gathers more information. But right now, like he's only got the one elimination. He's not been going full send just yet. He's just taking his time, playing it slow, looking for opportunities to get advantage. I think, especially in game five, I think that's just the way you got to do it. Yeah. 
And it's tough. If you play slow, right, and, you, and you're getting like these long build battles with people, you are going to reap much less reward from their materials when that battle's over, which is why sometimes being in insanely aggressive, even if you're not worried too much about the battle, you just want to out-aim people, you will reap much more reward because they won't be able to dump all their mats on the ground during that fight with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've seen that a lot. That is a trend. Now Nagaop's got, I mean, nine grapplers looking pretty good. 400 small bullets over to Bizzle here. He's got one elimination to his name. He immediately gets tagged up. Someone is looking to push him right now. I think this is smart. Just start editing down. Just change for Gat. He, he even has the slurp juice as well. Yeah, he's going to be fine. Ghost Reefold jumps down. Ooh. What? How? What? Did he dodge that trap? He did it so fast. Is that what I'm looking at? Weepo. Look, Weepo, you're going. Are you and going then he's to gonna, Is he? Oh. oh! He found a friend. He, oh. he, can, he can tackle this mountaintop. Oh, my gosh, One man. more Elim for the second point for him. That all happened so quickly. Man, Weepo needs one more elimination. If he gets one more, he's going to have two points. He's still got a fair amount of mats. But you just heard the, the shockwave. Shockwave yeah. grenades are going off all the place. You've got weapons got, firing. Colton's got one. Colton could probably use it to launch himself through. I'd love to see him. Launch like through a build? Just launch, yeah, launch through everything. Just like, hello, my name is Colton. I'd like to now move forward. Dude, Weepo still just five eliminations, man. This is two points. So if he can find two more, if he finds two more and gets the victory out, that's going to be just game changing, man. A Royale flush would just tip everything. Free agent. He's only got one of them. Wait, there's a player. Did he see him? He probably oh, no. heard him. At this point, it's tough. They have a lot of distance to travel. He wanted to maybe sneak this one because now he's going to have to essentially share rooms with this guy all the way to the next zone. He's got 30 seconds. He wants to get the Elon while he has the chance. You hear him. Someone's using Shockwave. Sen Animal has just shotgun Bolt Naga Ops. And look, now they have to make their way back to literally where they came from. Back inside Willing Woods. Ham Heart has gone down to the likes of Lenane. So there's 15 players left in the game. TP still alive. He's picked up another elimination. If he can find one more, man, that would be huge because that extra point is gonna go, it's gonna go to the distance for sure. Look at the ammo count. He got, the, the, he got the second point. We forgot the second point. Five eliminations. Still pretty high on that, to be honest. And a jump pad. He's looking really good for this stage of the game. TP just shotgun Goshan. So TP just picked up that third elimination. He's got one point on the board. That is before the, the placements have happened. So if he can find even just two more eliminations and then just make it to top five, man, that's going to be three points. Trying to figure out where that player is beneath him. He knows there's someone tunneling right beneath him. He's going to use old buildings to his advantage. Save his build. Hopkins, this player doesn't know. Oh, he noticed, but just a little bit too late. Now Smurf goes down to Knox the Fox. Top nine players. Oh, Got to make top five to earn them points. Free agent still alive here as well. He's this, got two med kids, man. So if he goes to a heal off, he's prepared. This is the mess. Going back through old builds. A lot of people don't even own half of these. This is coming down to the wire. No one has been eliminated just yet, but in 10 seconds, we're going to get a new safe zone. And then this is where things get very chaotic. Now keep in mind, normally around this time, we have like 15 players left in the lobby. So the fact we have nine in and of itself. Nine and literally only one person shooting at one other. I don't know yeah. where the other seven people are. Oh, we hear a shot. Close range. We went down. Saf goes down to Lazius. Free agent. Tifu's trying to spray down. He's got the high ground of the lobby. Look at that, man. Tifu, if he can get this one point, man. I mean, if he picks up two eliminations and somehow makes his victory out happen. above him? Sounds like it. I mean, they're letting this safe zone get a little too close for comfort, man. This is, this is, and he, he's got no meds. He's, he's gonna, he's going for the heal six off. Six people left. How are there six people left? Sen, Nox, and Free Agent. What is We're everyone all doing? Lost in the storm. Weepo going for elimination. Is, is Tifu actually gonna win this with bandages? He, no, you gotta be kidding me. What? With three bandages. That was the most chaotic ending I've seen. Even he's probably confused. Probably, what? I have like not even full health. Three bandages. Tfue, how? Finds. 
with two bandages, we saw the player down low, they had a med kit. I think they might have missed timed it or something, but like you said, Tfue walks away with the victory out. That's three points, and the three eliminations means he gets an extra point. That's going to be 13 points heading I mean, his he, way. He kept the high ground, but because the circle went back towards old builds, there was that extra layer of we don't have to use builds here. No one's going to edit them. I don't think many people had splodes because nothing was getting destroyed. And there were so many layers of people that the people underneath them weren't looking to just take down the whole fort. Mm -hmm. It was just like, I got to worry about this one guy. And this guy's like, I got to worry about that guy and that guy. They were only worried about one each other at a time, which is where a dude with what, 50 health and three bandages ends up winning the I guess he ended up getting full there. To, I, so he had a full health and three bandages. That's so, it. Yep. So Zoof starts the med kit super late. He already knows he's going to go down. And then Thweefo there was by himself. And then there you go. So Tfue takes two victory owls today. That's going to be four points heading his way. I'm sure that the Rift Raiders are probably like, yo, Tfue, let's, Keep let's it go. Up. Yeah. My goodness. I'm curious.